So I think the most important thing to understand in a question like this is that we don't actually have to solve it. Yes, they're technically asking for the ratio of blue to purple, but what they're really asking is, would we be able to find that ratio if we wanted to, given statement one on its own or statement two on its own, and if neither of those is sufficient on its own, then could we find the answer if we combine them? But we don't actually have to find the answer, we just need to feel confident that we could find the answer if we wanted to. Now, we are told here the total number of marbles, and statement two gives us the number of green marbles, but we wanted to know the ratio of blue to purple. So I could infer the total number of blue and purple marbles, but I have no idea how they're split. I don't even know if it's more blue than purple or more purple than blue. So statement two is not sufficient on its own and we should go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that it is. So B and D are gone and we're down to A, C or E. Let's evaluate statement one right after the intro. Now it's interesting to note that if this box only had two colors of marbles and we knew the total number of marbles and we were given the ratio of one color to the other color, that would be sufficient to find whatever else we wanted to find. But in this case, because we have three different colors in the box, even though we know the ratio of green to blue, we don't know how that relates to the total number of marbles because we have this unknown number of purple marbles. So there's just no way for us to find the ratio of blue to purple just from being given the ratio of green to blue, even if we do know the total number of marbles in the box. So we should go ahead and eliminate answer choice A. If we combine the statements, we can infer using a ratio table the actual number of blue marbles. We in fact know from statement one that there are one fourth as many blue marbles as green marbles. So whatever is a quarter of 192, that's the number of actual blue marbles, which means that the remaining marbles, so 256 minus 192 minus a quarter of 192, whatever that number ends up being, that's the actual number of purple marbles. Now, if we know the actual number of blue marbles and we know the actual number of purple marbles, then of course we could find the ratio of blue to purple and therefore when we combine the statements we can answer the question and the correct answer is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.